Hey everyone, it's Karen with Yes Please Paper Crafts. And today I have a layout share for you guys. Um, these are layouts that I did in 2019. And I did a couple other videos where I did layout shares last year and then also a couple in January. And I will put links in the description below to all of those videos. But this is the layouts that I have that I haven't shared yet. And I think I have about 50 here. And so I hope this video doesn't get too long. <laughs> um, so I think I completed around 100 layouts. I didn't actually count them, but I think it's around 100, which is really good for me because I'm a very slow scrapbooker. And uh, I like to spend a lot of time on each page. I love scrapbooking and I love the creative process of creating the layout. And so I really do enjoy just uh, working on the layout no matter how long it takes me to finish it. Now, a lot of these layouts that are in this stack came from Calvin Ball 2019. Some of them came from the load event, which I participated in in May. And so most of these layouts do not have blog posts and they don't have uh, scrapbook process videos because uh, I did most of these before I even started my YouTube channel. So I was super excited to find out that they were going to be doing Calvin Ball again this year. And it's going to be held March 1st through the 31st. And if y'all have not heard of Calvin Ball, it's an online scrapbooking challenge. And uh, you can do things other than scrapbooking. You can do cards or uh, uh, traveler's journals or planner pages or anything paper crafting related or creative. And you get points for it. And uh, so it's really a lot of fun. And it's being hosted by Alice at Scrap Happy. And if you would like to participate in Calvin Ball, I will put a link in the description below to the Facebook group. And you just can go there and uh, join the Facebook group. And then you'll get all the information that you need to find out about Calvin Ball and how to participate and what the rules are. And it's really a lot of fun. I just love that you can uh, be challenged to uh, create layouts every day. And then also, depending on what the rules are, you get points for uh, the different things. So like for instance, you might get a point for creating a scrapbook layout, a point for creating a card. Uh, you might get points for using wood veneer or enamel dots or uh, butterflies. And every day the rules change and they add new rules. Sometimes they take away rules. So it really is a lot of fun. And uh, I just had uh, a blast doing Calvin Ball last year. That was my first time ever doing an online scrapbooking challenge. And uh, I have to say that I really did enjoy it. So I'm planning to do Calvin Ball again this year. And uh, I think it's going to be fun. So I hope y'all will join in. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about each layout. And I'm going to try not to spend too much time on each one. But I do want to share with you guys uh, information about the layout and maybe the pictures. And we'll just kind of... Take it one layer at a time and see how it goes. <laughs> so this first layout has a picture of my mom. And uh, I went on a cruise with my mom and my sister Jeannie uh, back in January last year. And one of the places we stopped was Key West, Florida. We went to the Butterfly Conservatory. This was a picture of my mom that we took there. And so I wanted to do a layout that had butterflies and I found this uh, paper. It was from one of the Hot Buy paper pads. I can't remember which one it was. But it's really cool because uh, most of this layout is actually the background paper. So I did not do any of the background. Um, this is all the paper. This gold circle is part of the paper. If you can see the gold foiling there. And then uh, even this images like the flowers and the butterfly and these leaves. It's all part of the background paper. So I started with that paper and then I took another sheet of paper from that same paper pad and I cut, I fussy cut out all these flowers and then the butterflies. I added some wood veneer and some enamel dots. And then uh, for the picture, I, I did a mat with some gold foil paper and then some green tone on tone pattern paper. And it's really, it really looks like I did way more than I actually did. And this layout was so easy to create. And it's one of the, my favorite layouts that I did for Calvin Ball. So that's the first layout. So up next is this layout with pictures of my dogs, Bella and Lily Bell. 
and uh, they were playing out in the yard in my backyard in my house in Texas and I had um, around the time when I was doing a lot of these layouts I was really uh, loving doing these cut files with and backing them with different pattern papers and so I took this cut file with all of these butterflies and then I backed it with some pattern paper and then I also cut off some of the butterflies and just kind of popped them up on foam dots and the name of this layout is butterfly kisses and I did get one of those doggy paper clips on here and uh, I got those at Tuesday mornings and I love paper clips and uh, if you're looking for these at Tuesday mornings be sure to check the stationery aisle where they have the office supplies and the uh, stationery because that's where they put the paper clips in my store. I also used some Heidi Swap color sign on this layout and uh, I thought this turned out really pretty. One of the things I wanted to mention with Calvin Ball is the more things you put on the layout, the more points you get. So you might get points for a butterfly, wood veneer, uh, using a paper clip, a flare, using, um, you know, stickers or, you know, word stickers or all kinds of things. So, so some of my layouts can get pretty crazy, especially uh, towards the later stages of uh, Calvin Ball because with Calvin Ball they add and add and add and add to the rules and so you start off getting maybe like seven points for a layout and I think by the time I was done I was creating layouts and I was getting 30 or 40 points for one layout and uh, I think I ended up getting in total 700 and something points but I think the person that won actually got like 5,000 points. <laughs> I wasn't even close to winning. <laughs> okay, this next layout is a picture of my niece, uh, Stephanie, and this was on her wedding day. This is her daughter, Elena, and then uh, one of Elena's friends. And so I used another cut file, and this one is flowers. I also used some of the butterflies that I cut out when I did that first layout with my mom. And uh, I thought this one turned out really pretty. I also loved uh, using word stickers and one of the things that I did here was I used quite a few word stickers and the title is Find Beauty in Everything but I loved that I was able to find these stickers that were um, kind of coordinated with the colors. It says Cherish Love Happening Right Now and I thought that was so pretty. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this layout was uh, also a layout that I did for Calvin Ball and around the same time I took a class with Nicole Jones 911 which was a Scrapathon 3 class and one of the techniques that I was doing was uh, taking a brayer and some acrylic paint and just rolling it onto some cardstock and making backgrounds and so this uh, background I created uh, doing that technique and I loved it so much I think I probably created five different layouts all with this acrylic paint in the background um, and this layout is uh, me and then two of my friends uh, that are in Texas. I used to live in Texas uh, for about 20 years and uh, I just moved back uh, to Louisiana in 2015. So I really miss my friends. I don't get to see them very often. And uh, here's another layout where I used a paper clip. I had this really cute paper clip with the llama. And uh, it was Calvin Ball that kind of got me interested in using paper clips on scrapbook layouts because it was one of the things that you could get points for. And so after I started using the paper clips, I wanted to put them on all my layouts. And every time I would go to Tuesday mornings or Hobby Lobby or someplace, I would be looking for paper clips. And so I've collected quite a few of them. But I think they're such a cute thing to add to a layout. And the name of this layout is Friends Are Like Stars. And then I have the rest of the quote here. It says, you don't always see them, but you know they are always there. Okay, this next layout is another layout with my dogs, Bella and Lily Bell. And uh, if y'all have watched videos on my channel, then you know that I do a lot of scrapbook layouts with these two little girls. Uh, this is Lily Bell and Bella, and that's also Lily Bell here. And this is Lily Bell and Bella kissing. And I just thought that was such a sweet memory because my dogs, from the time I got them when they were puppies and they're sisters, and when they were around four years old, they started biting with each other. I mean, they tried to kill each other. It was bad. So for about four years, I had to keep them separated in my house or on the leash. And uh, it was really sad. 
Uh, I didn't really want to uh, rehome either one of them because they were like my kids. And so we went through some hard times, but uh, I worked with several different trainers. And this past July, they finally started getting along again. So I'm super excited. They are now nine years old. And for the past, uh, I would say, nine months, they have uh, been uh, getting along. And they, they got into one little squabble where they started going after each other. And then they just, you know, after a few seconds, they just stopped. I just, you know, I told them stop and they did, which was amazing. But, um, yes, yeah, so I'm really happy that they're no longer fighting. And one of the trainers actually gave me this little tool. It's called a pet convincer. And you spray it, and it sprays out compressed air, and it kind of startles them. And so um, whenever they're acting bad, I just get that out. And all I have to do is hold it up, and they stop doing whatever, whatever they're doing. They know they're not supposed to be doing, and uh, they start behaving themselves. So that's an amazing tool. So if you have a dog that barks or has any kind of you know, training issues, that pet convincer worked pretty good for my dogs. And uh, this layout is really cute. I love the colors of it. And the name of the layout is So Happy Together. And I just think that the it's just such a bright, cheerful uh, pattern paper. I just love this paper. This paper right here is really pretty. Up next is a layout that I did with my sister Debbie and her granddaughter Elena. This is my great niece. And the name of this layout is Out and About. And it's really interesting. I use these letters. Uh, they're kind of like uh, puffy letters. But the funny thing about these uh, stickers is that I probably had them for 15 or 20 years. It's probably one of the first things I ever bought a long, long, long time ago. <laughs> So it's kind of fun to use up something that was really, really old. And then I really love doing banners, so I did this banner up here. And uh, this was a page that was definitely inspired by Calvin Ball because it has a button and a star and a tag and twine and a sun and a butterfly and, you know, just a lot of things that you would get points for. <laughs> One of the challenges with Calvin Ball is uh, making sure you don't add too much to a layout. <laughs> so this next layout was inspired by my little dog, Lily Bell. And Lily Bell loves to snuggle. She will get underneath the blankets and she just loves to be in, uh, in the middle of the blankets or under the blankets. And so she was uh, on the floor in this pile of blankets just peeking out at me and I snapped that picture. And I call her my little Snuggle Bunny. So the name of this layout is Snuggle Bunny. And I really wanted to put bunnies on this layout. And I didn't really have any bunnies uh, in my stash. And so I actually did go out to Cricut. And I found these uh, little this little bunny on Cricut Access. And I was able to do a print and cut. And I printed it out a couple of times. And I thought it was really funny to be able to like, just tuck it under the circles. To make it look like the bunny was peeking out. Just like Lily Bell was peeking out from underneath those blankets. And uh, that, I think this, this is probably one of my favorite layouts that I did last year. Okay, so this next one is another layout with my two dogs, Bella and Lily Bell. And uh, this was uh, pictures from one night. I was just sitting watching TV. And I just happened to glance down and I saw my two dogs sitting there staring at me. And I uh, kind of was like, well, what do you guys want? And they just, uh, they didn't bark or whine or anything. They just sat there. And so I went back to watching TV. And a little while later, maybe like 15 minutes, I looked down. They're still sitting there staring at me. <laughs> so, <laughs> does your dog ever do this? <laughs> I just couldn't figure out what they wanted. I think they just wanted some attention. So <laughs> I just thought it was funny. And I snapped these pictures. And uh I had this really busy carpet. It's like an area rug that I have in my living room. And so I decided I was going to go ahead and print these pictures out black and white. And it really does help to make um, Lily and Bella stand out in that photo. And uh, it doesn't compete with the paper. Now the paper that I used was this really cute collection from DCWV. And it's called Playful Pets. And I just love this little dog right here. I wish I could get a whole sticker sheet full of that little dog. And I did put another one here. I think one of them was a die cut and then one I cut out, I fussy cut out of the paper. And I just stuck it there like it's peeking out from behind the title. And the title of this layout is Mom Life is Rough. 
I also did a paper clip up here with the little doggy and uh, this little tag. So I thought this layout was uh, it's pretty simple, but I really like it. I think it came out really cute. Okay, this next one is a picture of my niece Elena, actually my great niece. And the title of this layout is Sweet Girl. And um, I don't remember the paper collection, but I think this little kitty cat paper is adorable. And I just did this layout one day. I think I was scrapbooking with my friends, and it was just one I kind of threw together. And uh, I just uh, think it's really pretty. And another one where I actually used a black and white photo. Because the staircase she's sitting on, it's a carpeted staircase, and it was that ugly beige carpet. And I think by printing this picture in black and white, it really does make her pop off the page. And so I thought that using the black and white picture there was really uh, a good choice for this layout. Okay, I sure hope y'all don't get tired of seeing layouts with my dogs because I do tend to scrapbook my dogs quite a bit because I don't have any children, so I don't have grandchildren. I do have nieces and nephews. I have three sisters and a brother. And so I do have quite a few nieces and nephews and uh, one great niece. But I don't have any kids of my own. So my dogs are kind of like my kids and I scrapbook tons of pictures of them. So <laughs> this picture was a picture that I took in my backyard. And this is my dog Lily Bell. And she just loves being outside. And I just love this picture of her where she's just outside enjoying being out there. And I used uh, this uh paper it was a collection that i got uh, from my friend and it, it's all this lavender and blue paper with all of these uh, butterflies and uh, flowers and i chose that paper because uh, she has this purple bandana on and the name of this layout is called paw prints on my heart and i also did fussy cut out all of these little butterflies i do really enjoy fussy cutting it's one of my favorite things to do and so um, one of my viewers actually asked me if I could give some tips and tricks on fussy cutting and I created a video. So I have a video on my channel that I share my uh, tips and tricks for how I do fussy cutting. So uh, if you're interested, I'll leave a link to that video in the description below as well. So this uh, is, I think it's really pretty. I actually added, uh, what do you call that? Um, shoot, it, it's just, uh, my mom went blank. It's that sparkle pen you can add onto the top of things to make things sparkle. Wink Stella. That's what I, I put the Wink Stella on all of the butterflies just to make it a little bit more sparkly. And then these enamel dots have like glitter in them. So they're really, really pretty. These enamel dots I got from Gina K Designs. And I think out of all the enamel dots I've gotten from anywhere, those are the best enamel dots. They are so beautiful. So actually the price of those enamel dots is actually really good as well. But her enamel dots are really, really nice. Okay, up next is a layout that I created for a cherry on top challenge. It was a color challenge where you had to use a color palette that had like this mint green and the coral and the pink. And so I used this paper from Bow Bunny. It's from the Early Bird collection. And I have the 12 by 12 paper pad. And so at the time, I didn't have any embellishments or die cuts to go with it. So I did end up fussy cutting all of these little things out of the paper. And since I did this layout, I was able to find the ephemera pack at Tuesday mornings for this collection. So I was super excited about having that because I still do have most of that paper pad left to, uh, to use up. The name of this layout is Family Fun. And these are pictures of my mom and my Uncle Richard. That's my mom's brother. And then my mom and me and my sister Terry. And uh, my uncle was visiting. He lives in uh, Georgia. So he was down visiting us. And we went out to eat dinner. And I have this huge space to do journaling. But I haven't written any journaling yet. Uh, I really do need to do that before I forget. <laughs> it's one of my other goals for 2020. Is to go through all my layouts. And put the dates and do the journaling on there. So that I can get them into albums. This next layout is a double page spread and I did go to a crop. It was just like a evening crop in Prairieville, Louisiana with a few of my friends. And I created this uh, double page spread 
And when I was there, I planned on doing this layout of the, with these pictures. And this were pictures from Nottaway Plantation. We had taken my mom there for her 70th birthday. And uh, we spent the night and we ate out at the restaurant and we toured the plantation. And the name of this layout is Nottaway Plantation over here. Now when I actually was going to do this, I thought I was going to use a cream colored cardstock as my background. And then when I got to the crop, I didn't have any cream color paper. So I ended up using this maroon color paper as my background. And I did use the Heidi Swap Color Shine. And one of the things that's awesome about that is that how well you can see that color shine on dark colors. I just think that's so pretty. I just love how the Heidi Swap Color Shine makes these perfect circles. I don't think any of the other sprays do that. <clears throat> so I was really disappointed when they discontinued the Heidi Swap Color Shine. But I just recently found more at Tuesday morning. So that was a really happy surprise to actually see that in the store. <laughs> So for these next two layouts, I actually ended up using the exact same picture. And I didn't realize that I had done that until later. <laughs> but um, this is a picture of me and my friends Betty, Judy, and Tina. And we all do scrapbooking together. And in 2019, we started a new tradition where uh, they took me out to uh, a restaurant for my birthday to have lunch. And then we went shopping for craft supplies afterwards. And so now whenever it's somebody's birthday, uh, they get to pick a restaurant to go to and a store that we go to after we eat. So I ended up picking Michael's. So we went over to Michael's and I picked up a hot buy paper pad. And actually here is the things. This is a picture of the things that I bought. And I thought it would be really cool to do a layout using the products that I bought on my birthday. So the name of this layout is Birthday Memories. And then uh, this one over here I did, I used this uh, collection pack from Echo Park called Party Time. And when I got that collection pack from Tuesday Mornings, I wanted to use it and it's birthday themed. And so I pulled this picture again, not realizing that I had already done a layout. I think as you get older, you kind of, you have a short memory. One of the nice things about having a short term memory is that you can go back and rewatch all the movies and the TV shows that you loved. Because now you don't remember what, you know, what happens. <laughs> so I've, got, I've been going back and watching, re-watching things like The Closer and uh, like old movies like uh, uh, Pretty Woman and uh, Steel Magnolias and, and movies like that I love. So it's kind of fun not having the memory there because it's like watching it all over again like I never saw it. <laughs> This layout is titled Best Friends, and uh, I used all the papers from that Echo Park Party Time collection, and then uh, all of these are stickers from the uh, same collection. I also pulled in stickers from my sticker book, and uh, this sticker, and this one, and this one, and this little love this, all from the sticker book. And in this layout, I did not use enamel dots. I ended up using sequins, and I thought that was really cute to add the sequins on there. Okay, this layout is titled Sisters, and um, we took my sister Jeannie to Fredericksburg, Texas for her 50th birthday, and this is a picture of me and my three sisters, and I still have to do some journaling. I have this little pocket with this journaling card in there, and uh, I need to write some stuff on that card, and then this is a washi tape that I have. It's really cute. It has all these different tickets. This is a very simple layout as well. I think I did this one at a crop. I go to the uh, Scrap Dat Crop in Mandeville, Louisiana, and I've been going since 2017. And they have it twice a year in March and then September. And I'll be going to the crop uh, March 12th, 13th, and 14th. So I'm super excited about going. And uh, two of my friends are going, Judy and Tina. And then also my mom is going to go. She went to the one in last year in September. I talked to her into going, and she liked it so much she wants to go back. So I'm really excited that she wanted to go again. And then my sisters, Terry, Debbie, and uh, Jeannie are also going to go to the crop. It's going to be like a little mini family reunion, and we'll get to hang out and spend three days together. So 
I'm super excited about them coming with me to the crop and also about them getting interested in doing scrapbooking. So uh, hopefully that'll be fun for everybody. <laughs> I guess we'll have to wait and see. This next layout is another layout that I did for a cherry on the top challenge. And uh, this was a sketch challenge. And so I really fell in love with the sketch that they had. And I love uh, doing things where I have a title on the circle. And so I had this title, it's Smile. And then this is a picture of my friend Tina, me, and my dog Bella. And we were hanging out in the craft room taking selfies. And uh, so that's where that picture came from. <laughs> okay, this next one is a double page layout for my dogs Bella and Lily Bell. And uh, I knew that I was going to be doing this layout where I was piecing these arrows into uh, like a paper piecing technique. And so I decided to do these pictures in black and white. And uh, I don't think this layout has a title. It just has a lot of words. <laughs> but I think it's really cute. I think if I had to pick a title out of all the things on here, I'd probably pick You Are Loved as the title of this layout. And... Uh, I just thought that was really cute and I did do this paper piecing and when I cut it apart the arrows are going up this way and then on the sides they go in that direction and I think the challenge for this I can't remember if it was a load it might have been a load event challenge that I did this layout for and you had to use arrows in your layout. So this next layout I did during the load event and I created this uh, mixed media background using some shimmers paints, watercolor paints, and also used some Heidi Swap color shine on the background. And then the collection that I used was the My Mind's Eye Well Hello collection. And I uh, did fussy cut out all of these little llamas. And then I also added this llama paper clip. And the name of this layout is called Adventure. And the picture in this layout is uh, me and my Uncle Richard, and uh, we went on a cruise, I want to say it was probably about 20 years ago. It was a long, long time ago. And uh, so I thought that, uh, we were in Mexico, so I kind of thought that this paper, the colors, and the llamas went really well uh, with the picture. Okay, up next we have a double page layout. And this one is titled, Last Small Giggle. And uh, I play uh, cards with a group of friends. These are um, my friend Debbie, Priscilla, and my mom. And we play Canasta once a month. And so we were just uh, goofing around and I took some pictures, just some silly pictures. And uh, I just love the colors in this layout. For this layout, we have another picture of my two dogs, Lily Bell and Bella. And they were riding in the car and I did another black and white picture because I knew I was going to be doing this technique with these hexagons. And so I wanted uh, the picture to pop off the page. And the name of this layout is Car Ride Joy Ride. And uh, they loved to ride in the car. So uh, this was a lot of fun. I punched these all out with a Stampin' Up! hexagon punch. And then I did pop up some of those hexagons onto some foam tape. So it's very dimensional. It's kind of hard to see it there. I also uh, tore some of the paper and then I put, I backed it with another paper behind it. These letters came from a DCWV paper pad that was all die cuts. And so those are just uh, cardstock or pattern paper letters. They're not thickers. Okay, here's another layout that I did during load. And for this layout, the title is Beautiful Family, and this is a really, really old picture of uh, me and my sisters. This is my sister Terry, and then that's me back there, my sister Jeannie, my sister Debbie, and then a friend of the family. And I did use some Heidi Swap color shine on this layout. I also uh, cut all of these uh, leaves and flowers out of a paper pad. I think it was one of the Hot Buy paper pads at Michael's. And uh, I just love the fussy cut things. So I always love to be able to find paper where I can cut out images. 
This next layout is another layout with my dogs and we were at a dog park in Houston and uh, this is a friend of mine, Candy and her dog Latte and we were there and it was getting really dark and the sun was setting and this was another layout I did for load because I think the prompt was something about uh, using pictures at sunset and the name of the layout is Sunset at the Dog Park and I used another doggy paper clip I love those doggy paper clips <laughs> and then the paper that I chose was this really pretty uh, watercolor looking paper and to me this paper almost itself looks like a sunset I hope y'all don't get tired of seeing layouts with my dogs because here's another one. <laughs> this is another layout at a dog park in Slidell where I live now. And the title of this layout is Camellia City Bark Park. Is that's the name of the uh, dog park. And uh, they just built this uh, park back in 2016 so it's fairly new. And I took a few pictures of my dogs out there. They just love going to the dog park. Now this layout is not dimensional at all. I think I created it at a crop. And I used some really, really old stickers from the Dollar Tree um, when they had the Miss Elizabeth uh, stickers and papers that they used to sell there at the Dollar Tree. And so it's always fun when you can use up some of your older supplies. And I think these stickers as well are part of the uh, stickers that I got at the Dollar Tree. Okay, so this one is a picture of my sister Terry and my aunt Sally. This is my mom's sister. And uh, this was one that I did for Calvin Ball. And it was toward the end of Calvin Ball, so you can kind of tell I just went completely crazy with the embellishments. <laughs> but I created this banner at the top and I used some pom-pom trim and some uh, twine and uh, birds and then I put all these jewels on there on all the little circles so a little bit busy but then my layouts do tend to get very busy <laughs> so this layout has pictures of me and my sister Jeannie we were on a cruise with Royal Caribbean last year in January and it was right around sunset so we went up onto the top deck to take some pictures and uh, I love this paper. It's from Michaels. I think it's the Craft Smart or Craft Smith. What's the name of that collection? Oh, it's called um, Shoot. Oh, oh, it's called Sea Glass. That's what it's called. And um, I love this paper pad because the paper is textured and it's just so pretty. I wish that Michaels would bring this back, but the only thing that I've seen there recently is the six by six paper pad. Uh, but this paper pad is so pretty. And uh, I just love it. So I did use some gold washi tape and then uh, a gold uh, title adventure here at the bottom. I also used this little uh, starfish. It's like an enamel charm. And uh, I fussy cut out these flowers and also this little rope trim. I love this paper pad though. I did buy two of them. I'm really glad that I bought two because... Uh, you know, you can't find it anymore at Michael's, but if uh, they should bring that back because it's really pretty. Here is another layout from the cruise, and this picture was taken in the conservatory, and uh, it's a really pretty area on the ship, and it has all these windows. And I used uh, this really pretty paper, and this was from, I think this is a DCWV paper pad, maybe preserved papers, I think is what it's called. And I uh, did some fussy cutting. And the title of this layout is Happiness. So this next layout was inspired by Miss Janet over at RTS Scrapbooking. Because I always felt like if I was going to do a scrapbook layout, I had to have a picture. And so now I know that I really don't have to have my own pictures to do a scrapbook layout. And so... Um, we, my mom and I went to this really amazing sushi restaurant called Sogo's and it's in the city where we are and uh, I forgot to take pictures and after we ate the only thing that we could take a picture of was our empty plate so <laughs> I wanted to do a scrapbook page I had this collection from um, shoot I had this collection from photo play called paper crane and it's got these really amazing uh 
uh, die cuts this little Asian girl and the little sushi and it's such a cute collection and I just wanted to use that collection and also wanted to remember the meal that we had so I just went online and I got pictures from their website of all the things we ate and uh, made this layout <laughs> Okay, here is another layout with Lily and Bella, and this layout is titled Princess Beds. And I created this layout using the Echo Park Collection Once Upon a Time Princess. And if you have little girls, this is the cutest collection ever. It's so cute, and it's perfect for uh, my dogs because they're both girls. And so I did this uh, layout. Now, the story behind this is that when I'm in my craft room, um, I would be in there and my dogs would come and they would sit uh, next to me and they would just whine and whine and whine until I would go into the living room and I would grab their beds and bring them bring the beds into the craft room with me so that they would have a soft place to sleep. And so I decided that I needed to get some beds in there so I didn't have to keep dragging their beds back and forth. And I found these little beds at Tuesday mornings and it's a really pretty cream color suede with these coral flowers and then the inside is this soft bow fur and so I called them their princess beds and I just was super happy to find something that went with the decor in my craft room the colors in my craft room are uh, teal or like an aqua and this coral color and uh, so that was really fun to be able to have those beds in there so now I don't have to go drag beds around my house <laughs> Okay, so this is another dog that's in my family. This is my sister Jeannie's dog. His name is Silo, and the title of this layout is Good Boy. And uh, he was staying with me for several weeks while they were on vacation. And so I took all of these different pictures, and of course the carpet in my living room is super busy. So I decided to do all the pictures in black and white. And then I did this uh, torn paper. And I decided it'd be really cute if I kind of tucked the, the different pictures under the layers. I also used this really cute um, doggy washi tape. And I thought this layout, it's one of my favorite ones that I did last year. I just love the colors. And I used the Heidi Salt color sign and I think it shows up so well against this dark wood grain. And he's such a photogenic dog. He's so cute. I think he's called, uh, his breed is a Catan. It's the Catan du Tellier, and I hope I pronounced that correctly, but he's a little white fluffy dog, and uh, he's a little bit bigger than my dogs. I want to say he's around 11 or 12 pounds, and I think my dogs are 7 pounds, so he's a little bit bigger than they are. Okay, another doggy layout. <laughs> this layout is titled... It's a rough life, but some dogs got to do it. And uh, this was Bella, and she was uh, laying on her back in her bed looking for a belly rub. And I did something here, and I'm not exactly sure why I did this, but I think I was trying to cover something up. I did this mixed media background using some acrylic paint, and then I wrapped this paper around the layout. So you can see here that the paper was on the back. And then I kind of folded it over onto the layout. And I uh, thought that was kind of cool. I've never done that before. So it kind of created an interesting effect. Okay, guess what, guys? Another layout with my dogs. <laughs> this layout is called Two Sweet Girls. And uh, this was another uh, set of pictures that I got when they were in the car. I think I had just picked them up. Uh, they got their hair done. They got a haircut and they had these little pink bows and then the pink and white polka dotted bandana. And then I did this uh, border or this banners across the top here. And then I have a little uh, bow paper clip right there. I just love paper clips. I think they're so cute. And it adds quite a bit of, uh, you know, details to a layout because it's metal and it's different than most other things that you put on a layout. So I just really love adding paper clips to my layout. Okay, let's change it up a little bit. Here is a cat layout. This is my cat, Bungie, and uh, she's no longer with me, but uh, I still have a few pictures I've been wanting to scrapbook. And I created this layout of one of the crops that I attended last year. 
And I, I was trying to use up a lot of my really old stickers. And so I used uh, some really, really old stickers from probably 15 years ago. And then the name of this layout is Bungie. And that's my cat's name. Okay, this is another layout with Bella and Lily Bell. And I took this picture of them. I think they were probably about two years old. And they were wearing these little dresses. And Bella's dress said, Spooled Rotten. And Lily Bell's dress says, What's Not to Love? And uh, they were just so cute, curled up there sleeping with their little dresses on. So uh, this uh, layout, I did a mixed media background. I also used some of this glitter paste. And it's like a clear paste. And when it dried, uh, you can still see the background through it. I kind of went a little bit crazy with that mixed media background. <laughs> and then I did this cut file with these hearts. And I backed them with all different pattern paper. And then the title for this layout is Sweet Sisters. For this next layout, I actually used an old calendar. I had gotten this uh, calendar from Michaels. It's like a scrapbooking calendar where the top of it has like a page and you can stick some photos on it. And then the bottom part of it is the calendar. And so um, after the year was over, I took that calendar and I kind of cut it up and I used it to embellish layouts and I also used it kind of as a starter for a layout. So this entire piece right here, this entire blue piece is from the calendar. And you can see here the hole from the calendar. And I just used that as the basis for my layout. And then these are pictures of uh, Bella and Lily when their hair was much longer. And I can't keep Lily's hair that long anymore because uh, she's got a tender head. She won't let me uh, brush her hair or comb her hair. And uh, if it grows out that long and then I don't brush it every day, it gets mats. And so um, it's just better for them to have shorter hair. But her hair was, her coat is so pretty. She's called a silver tip Yorkie. And so the top of her coat is silver and then underneath it's black. And uh, Bella is actually black and tan. So that's that layout. Here is another layout with Bella and Lily Bell. This was before they started fighting with each other when they used to be allowed to be on my bed. Now they're not allowed to be on the furniture. They can't be on the bed because that causes problems. But this was way back when, probably when they're about three or four years old. And uh, this layout is just titled Lily and Bella. It's a very simple layout. I did use some... Um, really pretty like I don't know they're like jeweled flowers and then I also used these flowers which I made I took some washi tape and put it on top of some acetate or clear plastic and then I used some dyes and I cut these flowers out and so it really is a cool effect my very first video on my channel is one where I showed how I created these acetate embellishments using acetate and washi tape Okay, up next is another double page layout. Uh, this is pictures of Bella and Lily Bell when they were about maybe nine months old. And so this is Bella and this is Lily Bell. And uh, I started this layout when I was at a crop. And then when I came home, I decided that I would try to do some stitching with my sewing machine. And uh, my stitching's a little wonky, but I still like it. I kind of, I'm not very good at sewing. I, I don't, I can't sew a straight line. I can't cut a straight line. And I'm, I'm very challenged when it comes to using a paper trimmer. So <laughs> this goes, just to shows you visually how, how badly I do with, with trying to do things in a straight line. <laughs> but I still think it came out really cute. And these little cards are actually, uh, I think they're Project Life cards. And then the little dog and the little food dish I cut that out with my Cricut and then I used some markers and I just made it look a little bit more. Um, I added some detail like I made it look like the dog had fur and the food was actually food in the bowl. And then the last thing that I did here, I added some washi tape and then also these corduroy buttons. They're like fabric covered buttons. I think I got those from Stampin' Up! a long time ago. Up next, I have four layouts that I did for the RTS 444 
series Some Around. And this is a series that Janet at RTS Scrapbooking had on her channel where you take some papers and then you follow her instructions to cut the papers up and create layouts. So I did four layouts and this was the first one. This one is titled Here Comes Trouble. Now all four of these layouts I have scrapbook process videos on my channel. And so I will put links to those videos in the description below. And uh, this is pictures of my little niece Elena. She's my great niece. And she was trying to climb into the above ground pool that was in my sister Terry's backyard. And uh, it just looked like she was trouble. So here comes trouble. <laughs> Okay, this next one is layout number two, and this one is called Hello Sunshine. And this was with the rest of the pictures that I had of Elena trying to climb into the pool. Then the third layout that, that I did for the series is uh, this one, and it's called Fun in the Pool. And these are pictures of my niece and nephew. This is my sister Terry's kids. This is uh, Courtney and Chris. And then this is Elena, and they're all grown up now. Uh, Courtney's in college, Chris is in uh, high school, and uh, Elena's in high school. And then the last one that I did, this is number four. This was more pool pictures, and this one is called Hot Summer Days. So I have a series on my channel called The Stuck Layouts where I take a layout that I got stuck with and then I talk about it and how I fixed it. And so this first layout is from the first video of that series and it was called The Case of the Missing Plan. And uh, this is a picture of uh, my mom and me and we were at the Audubon Zoo which is in New Orleans, Louisiana. And if you're interested in seeing the process videos for these three layouts, I will leave links in the description below. So this was the first one in the series. So this next layout is uh, stuck layout number two. It's called Beautiful Niece. And it was the case of the confusing clusters. And then the last one that I have here was the third layout in the series. And it's called Road Trip Banners to the Rescue. And uh, this was pictures of my mom and my nephew Chris and my sister Terry and my nephew Chris. And I would have to say this is one of my favorite layouts that I did in 2019. So um, just love this layout. So I have another series on my channel called the Page Kit Mysteries where I take an item in my craft room and I try to make a page kit with it. And uh, the first three layouts that I did, page kits, I did not create the actual scrapbook process video, but I do have the page kit videos. Um, and I already did share those in another layout share that I did last year, so I didn't include them here. Uh, but this was the fourth one in the series, and it was called A Trip to Asia, A Scrapbook Collector's Mystery. And uh, this layout was inspired by our trip to Houston when we went to this restaurant called Sushi Chichu. And it's a really cool uh, sushi place that has a um, kind of a conveyor belt that runs all along the restaurant where the sushi just comes down and you can open the little door and just grab out what you want. And then if you want to order anything off the menu, they have these little... Uh, trucks and trains and different vehicles that run on the top of the conveyor belt that come and bring you your order. It's a really cool place and uh, I love going there when we go to visit my sister in Houston. Okay, so this is the last layout in this layout share. I did a collaboration with Janet at RTS Scrapbooking last year. It was the RTS Scrapbooking Hop where we used a 6x6 six six paper pad and I used a 6x6 six six paper pad and created these uh, strips of paper to create this background. And the name of this layout is Fireworks Fun. And these are pictures of my nephew Chris with the sparklers on 4th of July. I also have a scrapbook process video for this layout as well. And I'll put a link to that in the description below. So that's all I have for this video. I'm really hoping to do more layouts for 2020 and also more layout shares. So if you enjoyed this video, 
and you want me to do more, please click the like button so I know that y'all are interested in seeing more videos like this. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification so that you'll get notified next time I put up a video. So I'm planning to do a lot more videos in 2020. I'm going to be doing organizational videos and scrapbook process videos. And I was also thinking about doing some tutorials on using the Cricut. Uh, but I would like to hear from you guys what y'all want to see. So if you have anything specific you would like to me to make a video on, please leave a comment on this video and let me know what you would like to see. And I'll try to see if I can make a video on that. So that's all I have and I guess we'll see you next time. Bye now.